Hi everyone, today I'm going to make a tutorial about the new HDR merge feature. So let's just go over to Exposure Blend. We're going to stack all these images. Click Stack. And then because we don't have uh, any flashes, that's the, reason, that's the reason why I created this feature. So just to add that extra contrast that we're missing when we're doing HDR uh, um, and using Magic Merge. So if I just use Magic Merge, you get a kind of a flat result, which is not how it turns out when you're doing flash and ambient, because um, the flash adds that nice contrast. But now when you're doing Magic Merge and there is no flash, then this is more or less what you get. So I created Magic Touch. Uh, that you apply after magic merge and then you get this result so instead of doing magic merge and then magic touch you would just then let me undo show my layers you would just go directly to HDR merge that would be basically like doing magic merge and then H and then magic touch so you will just click HDR merge then And then that will be your magic merge and your magic touch. And there you go. So now there's a few things that we can do with these layers. Uh, let's say we want to control some of the shadows. We can double click on this mask. And then just play with the feather. So you can darken the shadows a bit more. Or lighten it. Or you can play with the density. You can do the same thing with the highlights. Click on the highlights. Play with the feather, or play with the or, or play with the density. But I think by default, default should be fine. Uh, what I usually just do is I click on the well. You will have this layer selected, the dodge me layer. Uh, mine is my my dodge tool is usually on the mid tones and. For doing, uh, for dodging on this layer, I'm usually on like 40% exposure or so, and then I can just dodge some of these shadows. You don't want to over dodge, then it's gonna wash it out. You can also click on the clip dodge me layer, the one with the arrow on it and the mask, and then you can play with the full. So just click on the name full and then drag to the left or to the right. And that will also control a lot of the shadows on the image or contrast. So you can also just play around with that. You can also dodge on this layer, but I usually, a lot of people like that the ceiling should be a bit more white, less shadows on and so on. Um, so let me just select this with a polygonal lasso tool. So select your ceiling and then choose your dodge tool again. And then when you're on this layer, not the mask, on the layer, then you can lighten some of that shadow. You can also try to dodge on this layer, see if it does something, but usually I don't need to. I just dodge on that layer there, deselect again, and then that's what you get basically. So I want to lighten this a bit more. You can also dodge on the magic merge layer, but I don't really think you need to. Uh, but play around with with these with these settings here with these with these layers and then when you're done you can flatten it and then you can either open this up in camera raw or you can click dehaze I changed the dehaze and that will add like a contrast that you can also control with the shadows and the highlights layer and the dodge me layer so almost the same thing But uh, yeah, um, play around with it and show us what you get from it.
thank you so much. Uh, hope this tutorial helped you. Cheers.